So this is the McKinley Polar 65. It is actually, um, it's a discontinued bag. Uh, they don't sell this one, uh, these ones new anymore. But uh, it's really common to find uh, these ones used. Uh, so I thought that I should make a video of it. Uh, because I couldn't find any videos uh, of uh, any, almost any McKinley bags in general. But especially not any um, McKinley Polar bags uh, from this, this series. Um, so we can just start. start. Uh, well, as uh, most uh, rucksacks, uh, there is um, straps for attaching your um, sleeping mats. Uh, and uh, as with many other rucksacks, uh, there is one compartment, small compartment, that is interconnected with uh, the main compartment. Uh, some people use this one uh, to store uh, dirty clothes or wet clothes, but uh, I usually store my sleeping bag in there. But as you can see, it is interconnected with um, the main compartment. So you can reach your stuff from the bottom. Let's close this one up. And um, it's uh, there are quite a lot of pockets on this one. There's starting from this side over here. Uh, we got one zip. We got one zip lockable um, pouch, and we got one open. If you want to lose your stuff, <laughs> um, there's also uh, compression straps over here. Um, these pockets are quite big. They sort of fold out when you put stuff in them. So they have a potential for quite a lot of stuff, actually. And uh, when you don't use them, when they're empty, they sort of fold together like this. And you can just use your compression straps. to make your bag smaller, compact, nice and clean. On the other side, uh, we got a really nice um, holder for your water. You just flip this one over, have yourself a drink, put it back in and you're good to go. After you, of course, flip this one back over. Uh, there's another open pocket. The compression straps and over here we got actually a huge pocket which is a huge zipper which leads straight into the main compartment uh, really nice really handy and of course there's another big pocket which falls together when you're not using it And uh, moving on, moving on to the top pocket. Well, as with most bags, there's some kind of extra textile over here, which means that you can load a real lot of stuff all the way up till you fill it way, ab way above the rest of the main compartment. And, uh, and then you just, if you do fill it up all the way, you just loosen these straps. And flip it over and loosen this one and this one. And you can just, just load a huge lot of stuff in here. Uh, even though it even though much of it perhaps doesn't fit inside 
uh, this extra pocket. You can still load like a raincoat or something and have it over here. So um, if you add if you add this, there's like another six liters. And um, the top pocket consists of one zip lockable from uh, below, beneath the pocket, and uh, on top there's another So let's move on to the carried, carrying system. Shoulder straps. Um, over here we have huge, really nice uh, waist belt, and it uh, really takes uh, it, it really it's really comfortable. Um, the shoulder straps are quite firm, so you don't really want to carry that much of weight on it. Um, but uh, um, nine out of ten uh, packers, backpackers, usually carry ninety percent of their weight on their waist. So even though this is quite firm, it's not really a big deal. Uh, you can adjust uh, how how far up you want the shoulder straps to be, all the way up here to all all the way down there. So you can be really tall or really short. Also, there's the sternum strap, if you want to use one, and uh, it works really, really well, uh, as well as this, so you can adjust how far, um, how far away you want the backpack to be leaning. Uh, it's uh, it's a nice feature. It's not that handy actually, but. Uh, uh, Usually you just zip it all the way up and uh, use it like that. But uh, in some cases you want to loosen this. Um, the textile, it's waterproof. Uh, the blue part here, it's, uh, it's waterproof. Uh, I tried soaking it uh, for several, several minutes uh, in water but uh, nothing came through. Uh, the gray sides here, they are very, very water resistant, but not entirely waterproof. Uh, moisture will still get through them. Uh, and also on the back you have the daisy chains. I've never really seen any good use for them, but uh, there they are if you want to use them. Um, well, overall, this is the Polar McKinley Polar 65. Thanks for watching.